welcome to Viking Car Concept. Best channel for review the next gen car in the world. The 2025 Subaru Forester is a reasonably priced small crossover with the capacity to travel somewhat off the beaten path. Competitors such as the Honda CRV and Mazda CX-50 provide stronger on-road performance, but the Forester is quiet and comfortable enough to get you from REI to Trader Joe's without complaint. The Forester's back seat is roomy, and the cargo area has enough room for heavy camping gear or a week's worth of food. The Forester is well equipped in all but the basic model, but regardless of how much you spend, you'll get a slew of driver assist features. All-wheel drive is standard, as one would expect from a Subaru crossover, but the 182 horsepower flat 4 engine lacks power. The Forester remains unchanged for the 2025 model year. The budget-friendly base and premium trims remain, with the higher end limited and touring, as well as the rugged-looking wilderness, at the top of the selection. Pricing and which one to buy? The price of the 2025 Subaru Forester ranges from $28,440 to $38,490, depending on model and options. While the limited and touring trims are substantially more luxurious, we believe the premium model provides the finest balance of value and amenities. The outward upgrades, 17-inch wheels, a rear spoiler, and body color side view mirrors, make it appear less like a rental vehicle. Interior features include a panoramic sunroof, a 10-way power-adjustable driver's seat, reclining rear seatbacks, an onboard Wi-Fi hotspot, and a six-speaker sound system. Engine, gearbox, and performance. All Forester variants are powered by the same 2.5-liter flat four-cylinder engine, which produces 182 horsepower and can tow 1,500 pounds. A continuously variable automatic gearbox, CVT, sends engine power to Subaru's all-wheel drive system. At our test track, our Forester Wilderness test vehicle took 8.0 seconds to reach 60 miles per hour, not exactly exhilarating performance, but adequate for the majority of consumers. Those wanting for additional power can consider the CRV or the turbocharged variants of the Mazda CX-5 and Kia Sportage. For an SUV with no sporting aims, the Forester handles well. The ride is smooth and elegant, the steering is precise, and the brakes are robust enough for emergency stops. The Forester's cabin is simple and basic, with a comfortable driving posture and excellent outward visibility. Our touring model's interior was nicely finished with caramel-colored leather on the seats, door panels, and dash, textured plastic trim layered on the rest of the cabin looked and felt high quality, as did gloss black plastic on the center stack and chromed and matte metallic plastic trims. The back seat is adequately spacious, there is no third row option, and the bench seat should be suitable for adults on long trips. We accommodate 11 carry-on luggage behind the back seat and 23 with the back seats folded. That's more than the CX-5 or the RAV4, although the CRV had a maximum carry-on capacity of 25 with the rear seats folded. Support our channel and keep up with the newest developments in future vehicle technology by liking, subscribing, and sharing this video.